Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you some tips for enhancing your spell work. When you're having spell work performed on your behalf or when you're performing your own spell work, there are some potent things that you can do in your personal life that will enhance that work and greatly increase the chances of your goal coming to fruition. The first thing that you can do is avoid drama and negativity. For example, perhaps you are involved in a relationship which has become difficult and you're having some spell work done in order to remedy this difficulty. The first thing that you will want to be sure of is that you do not engage in any kind of excessive arguing or drama or fighting. Any, anything to decrease the turmoil while the spell work is taking place. The next thing that you can do is create some positive affirmations for yourself in alignment with your goal. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that these affirmations are in the present tense and that they really offer you the best outcome. You can write these affirmations down, you can put them on post-it notes, on your mirrors or around your home and be sure to repeat them several times throughout the day or at least in the morning and at night. The next thing is to practice meditation or prayer, whichever one works better for you. The goal of this is to focus on the positive outcome of your goal and or to seek some spiritual assistance with your goal. Engage in some positive communication either with your subconscious mind, through meditation, or with your spirit guides or your deities through prayer to assist you with having a positive outcome with this matter. Keep yourself high vibe. This means don't obsess. Don't allow yourself to become too anxiety ridden or too obsessive regarding the outcome of your spell work. So the only way to avoid this is to replace it with something positive to focus on. It won't work to simply tell yourself, I can't think that, I have to stop thinking that, or I have to avoid thinking that. You have to instead replace the unwanted behavior with a positive behavior. So find something positive to focus on or repeat some positive affirmations every time that you notice you, your mind going back to those obsessive thoughts or to that anxiety, replace that with positive affirmations. You can also find a positive hobby to focus on and something that you can go to easily, that you can accomplish quickly or that you can do in small amounts of time every time that you feel yourself overthinking or spending too much time on worrying or obsessing. Exercise is a good one for that. Perform some cleansings of yourself and of your home. Approach this as if you are preparing yourself and preparing your life for a positive new beginning in your life. When your spell comes to fruition, that will be the start of a positive new beginning in your life. In order to prepare for that, you can cleanse and refresh your energy so that you're ready to receive your blessings. In order to do this, you may want to participate in some spiritual baths. You may want to do a spiritual cleansing of your home, but a regular cleansing of your home is also going to be helpful. Spend some time in nature or with house plants. Plants and nature assist you with cleansing your energy and raising your vibrations. This is going to assist you with all of the other activities that we have spoken about, especially with keeping yourself high vibe, keeping it positive, avoiding drama and negativity, and so forth. If you don't have easy access to nature, then spend some time with some house plants, bring some plants into your home, spend time caring with those. If you don't have an excellent green thumb, then buy some bouquets of flowers and they don't have to be fancy. Inexpensive flowers will also help you increase the vibrations of your home as well as cleanse your home and uplift your mood. 
take one small physical world action towards your end goal. For example, let's say that the end goal of your spell is to graduate college with honors. So go ahead and purchase your cap and gown. Do something real world that is going to set into motion a domino effect that tells the universe this thing is coming. I believe that this goal is coming and I am actively taking steps towards this goal. This assists your spell with coming to fruition. It assists the universe in trusting you that you believe this is going to come into fruition. It, it does the same thing for your subconscious mind. When you take these actions, you are communicating to your subconscious mind, you are communicating to spirit, you are communicating to the universe that you are dedicated to to this, that you believe in this, and that this is coming to you. These are some excellent actions that you can take to assist with your spell work coming successfully to fruition. Be well and be blessed.